dead. Yeah, if I could, I would eat. I would eat people's babies through online, but I can't. Yeah, but I'm trying to figure out a way. So you teach them sign language and yoga instead. Yeah. Give me your hand. No one. One hand. Ah, stop changing it to taco. Stop. Okay. Go sit in the corner. You already made it taco. Go sit in the corner. Think about what you did. Go. I'm gonna count to three. <laughs> I'm gonna count to three. One. Two. He's the Thank real you. hero we need. Hey. Okay, so I know we do have uh, uh, two new students. Is there anyone else here where you consider yourself to be new? Maybe this is your first or second lesson. Maybe you're just fresh. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow, there's a lot of new students. Welcome, welcome. I'm really happy that you guys decided to come here, and I hope that you have fun today. Um, and for my other students who have been here before, you may notice that I got index. Yay! Uh, this is thanks to a very generous gift from multiple people. I won't call them out because I'm, I don't want to make them embarrassed. Um, but I love them, and it made me cry. <laughs> uh, but uh, although I'm very happy and it allowed me to have more liberty with sign, I am still getting used to them. Um, so I'm letting you know if uh, if my sign seems a bit awkward or I have to slow down a bit, uh, that's why. So just be a little bit more patient with me than usual. Um, I I I'm 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 an I'm an index baby, <laughs> so just be a little patient. Um, but but yeah. <laughs> Why are you putting a camera in my face? The, your your name tag could be seen in the feed. You need to put it back a little bit. No! <laughs> Look, you, you're decent as in the feed. <laughs> I would have changed it you to needed... taco if it wasn't already taco. <laughs> you guys bully me. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, because we do have some first timers here, are you guys fine with doing a little bit of the basics? Um, and that means. Bye bye. Bye bye. Two hands. Maybe a lot of people. Bye bye. Or you could just wave. Bye bye. In the context of someone's leaving, you could wave as well. But this is the actual sign for bye. Bye-bye! Next one is how. There's a lot of different variations to sign this. The most common one is with relaxed hands, and you're gonna twist like this. How. Starting like this, then twisting over. How. Another variation is you could use two thumbs up hands, but with the recent update, Sad. You can't do two thumbs up. It will look like that on your end, but everyone who does not have index, you're just gonna see relaxed hands. It's sad. Yeah, Steffi is showing off right here. If she changes from a thumbs up to two thumbs up, it's just gonna change to a relaxed hand. So please be aware of this. That is a bad bug. Yeah, index can. Index can see thumbs up, but any other controllers, you cannot. You can see it yourself, but nobody else will be able to see. Yes, it's very bad. And this is sad news for people who sign. But, you know, let's just hope that the devs are going to soon fix this. Um, if you guys want, we could try and uh, email them or contact support and inform them that there is a big deaf hard of hearing and signing community here and it's very important for us to have access to two thumbs up not just for signs like how but also like try remember a lot of other ones uh so it is a bit of an important problem right now and this is why it's good to take time to inform you that if you don't have index you're doing two thumbs up everyone else is going to see it like relaxed hands it's sad it sucks i know but we're just gonna have to live with it but it's fine because how does have that variation with relaxed hands so you could do that how it's fine it's all good we'll power through <laughs> 
All right. Uh, hold on. What's up? Yeah, now... I don't know. I guess one-handed thumb up? Or yeah, rock and roll. Rock and roll. Use your rock and roll. We could do one. One thumb. Maybe an owl hand. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be a hard time of adjusting. But, you know, we can do it. It'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, it is going to be weird and awkward. But yeah, I'd say for signs that you need two thumbs up, either do rock and roll or do one thumb and like a fist. That's what I would tell you. But yeah. Uh... Oh, next one. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. You, just point to the person in front of you. You. Is pointing rude in sign language? No. Everything pointing is just means you. You're pointing to the person in front of you, you. Or if it's over there, him, them, she, her, him, who, everything. You're just pointing. It's not rude. All right. So then we just learned how to say how and we just ha learned how to say you. So well, we put those together. How are you? There's no sign for R in ASL. So we're just going to say how are you? There's just how you. That's it. How Right? So somebody comes up to you, they say, how are you? You need to know how to respond, right? Eh. You're fine. Fine. Right on your chest, you're going to have an open hand. Your thumb is right in the middle. You could either do this, this is a variation going forward, or just resting perfectly still. I'm fine. I'm fine. Or maybe you are good. Good. Coming from your mouth. Going straight down to another open hand. Good. Good. And the opposite of that would be bad. And I hope that nobody is doing bad. But let's say somebody says, how are you? Doing bad? You're going to do just the opposite of that. So in here, going down. You could also just do it on the air. You don't have to go to an open hand. Bad? Or bad. A good way to remember this is good is going down like this. And bad is like you have something bad in your hand. You're like, you don't want it. You're turning it away. Bad. Bad. Yep. Uh, so Steffi's saying good is really similar to thank you. Thank you is never going uh, down. Thank you is always like like this, just straightforward. You're not going down on another hand. You're just going forward. Thank you. And then good is like that. That's the difference. Next is who. So there's multiple variations. The first one you're going to see is with uh, L hand, the, the um, excuse me, I'm losing my words. The thumb is resting on your chin, and you kind of wiggle your pointer finger. Another variation is without the thumb. You could just do it with a pointer, like that. And the last one, it's really old. You're not going to see it a lot, but you could also do one where you're kind of doing circles around your lips. Who? Who? This is really old. You're not going to see that a lot, but this is how you say who. So, who? Who or who? But most common, number one, you're going to see this one. Who. Next word is when. Going to have a pointer fing two pointer fingers. You could either do it up or to the side. And then you're going to go once all the way around. And this one is not moving. It's just uh, still. And the way you could remember this is it's like an hour hand going all, all, all the way around yeah. one time. When. when next is why when. so you, you could do it with a, a a thumbs up like this why why or you could do it with a y hand this is like the real life version y hand or if you have index or if you're doing this in real life you could wiggle that um middle finger like this why huh? what, what, why what's the, what's, what's the first one the first one, okay, so in real life, you're going to be doing it. Hold on, my pinky is not tracking. In real life, like the true sign is with a Y hand, which is that pinky out. But uh, if you don't have a Y hand, you could just do thumbs up. Why? Why? 
It's kind of like, I think of it as like there's a thought up here and you're pulling it down so that way you could examine it and figure out why. Why is there a thought up there? I don't know. Yeah. Next one is what? Even if you have zero sign experience, I bet you've signed this before. What? Huh? What are you saying? Hold on, what? You're just super confused. What is going on? You got two open hands? What? <laughs> <laughs> a very simple sign. The other way is with a, a flat hand and a pointer finger, and you're kind of like cutting your other hand like that. What? What? Like slice. What? What? Huh? You could use these interchangeably. What? What? Either of those work. What? What? My nose is itchy. Okay. Where? You can have a pointer finger? And you just wiggle it right next to you. Huh? Where? Where? What? Hmm. Where is it? Yep. Okay. Next is which? This one, you need two thumbs up, but for us non-index users, you're going to be using a thumbs up and a fist. I think that's what I'm going to decide to be the replacement for two thumbs ups until we have some other fix, okay? So if you don't have index, we're going to be using this. But if you do have index, or if you're studying this in real life, you're going to be using two thumbs ups. Going like this, which, which. Yeah, it is sad. It's very sad that this new update broke our thumbs. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, okay, we did. Okay, yeah, so that's all the questions. Uh, we'll go through a few more of the basics. And that will be... The, the controller yes. is messed up. Yes. It's kind of like you're nodding your head. Yep. Yep, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Do I have a question? What's going on? Are you guys being distracting? Are you guys being distracting? I love you too. <laughs> All of my students, look at them for bad examples and bad behavior. Yeah. <laughs> You're fine. I'm joking. You're fine. <laughs> okay, so we learned how to say yes. You're not in your head. Then if you want to say no, no. No. In real life, you're going to be connecting your thumb to your pointer fingers like that. But in VR, we're just going to use um, a uh, peace sign and a fist. No. You're going to nod your head. No. Would you nod your head no. yes and sign this? No. You're going to no. nod your head no. Nope. 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 No. Your facial expressions and your body language uh, are play a big role. So if I'm signing sad, am I going to be smiling and jumping up and down? Like, no, because that's going to be very confusing. You're going to be saying, wait, are you happy or are you sad? So it's the same thing with yes and no. You're going to be nodding your, has, your head yes, and you're going to be nodding your head no when you sign. No. Okay, um, I think those are good for the basics. Let's... Let's take a little break for questions. There could be some basic questions, could be uh, clarifying, whatever. Could be a topic you want to discuss. Any questions, question, questions? No, no, no. Oh, hi, Steph. What's up? Mm-hmm. Lazy? Lazy? Oh! I'm getting lazy with teaching name signs? <laughs> oh! <laughs> name signs for new students. Yeah? You want me to teach that? Okay. Why, why did you say lazy? Okay. <laughs> Steph.
Okay. Um, I'll do it quick because uh, I taught this in a previous uh, lesson and I don't want to sound like a broken record. Um, but we'll go over the really basic ones. So, what is a name sign? Uh, uh, let's use an example of someone who has a name sign in here. Who has a name sign? I have a name sign. <laughs> um, hi, my name is J E. N N Y. Wow, super annoying. That's so long and super annoying to fingerspell. Can you imagine if you were telling a story with my name in it and every single time you had to talk about me, you'd have to fingerspell the whole thing? That's super annoying and tedious. So what is the solution? We have name signs. And what this is, is it's using the first letter of your name and something about the person. So it could be something that you notice about them, could be their personality, could be something that they like about themselves, you name it, just something that defines this person as a person. So for me, my name sign is with laugh. And it's J hands and you're signing laugh because I laugh a lot. I'm a very giggly person. Uh, so I uh, was given a name sign by Max Steph. And it means laugh or laughter. Um, so when you get a name sign, it's kind of like a sign that you've been accepted in the community. It's usually only given after a long time of signing and learning and becoming experienced. Uh, or it can be done to famous people. So it's like, oh, wow, they're super cool. We want to talk about them a lot. So we're going to give them a name sign. So like, it doesn't have to be a real person. Like Star Wars, they have name signs. Leia, uh, Luke, Darth Vader, whatever. Uh, but, you know, removing the, the characters, removing famous people, um, you're always going to give it to people who either they're close to, like mom and dad, or someone who's been learning for a long time and deserve that name sign. And so who can give name signs? That's only deaf and hard of hearing people in our community. That's deaf and hard of hearing. Um, so that means you cannot make your name sign. If you are a hearing person, that's not something that you get to make. Because that just removes the whole point of being given a name sign and having that honor bestowed upon you in this beautiful way if you were just like i want my name sign to be hot dog because i like hot dogs and you just make your name sign hot dog with a j yeah you're probably going to be looked at like super rude because not only is this disrespecting deaf people and hard of hearing people this is just not the way it works this has been a, for a very long time deaf culture and the way that it works is that you're given a name sign by a deaf or hard of hearing person so so me being a hard of hearing person i could also make name signs and i could make a name sign for myself but i chose to accept the one that a deaf person gave to me and i love it so much i'm never going to change it um but somebody like uh crow he's deaf so his parents when he was born gave him this name sign um, and as he grows older, because he's deaf, he can either accept a new sign name from somebody else or change it for himself. Uh, but when it comes to hearing people, it just comes down to being offered one and you could choose to accept it or say no. And then let's say it becomes, you know, not defining for yourself or you don't like it anymore. Then you could choose to not use it anymore and then wait patiently for another person to offer you one. Um, the other thing is that the main thing you want to get down is please don't ask for a name sign. Please don't go up to deaf and hard of hearing people and say, oh, please, 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 can I have a name sign? I think it'd be really cool if my name sign was hot dog. Please, I really, really like hot dogs. Please, 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 please. And they're probably going to look at you like, dude, no, because... Again, it's an honor thing, like it's a nice thing to do, and it's something after a long time of getting to know somebody and trusting them and seeing their progress that it's given to you. Asking for one is just rude and annoying, and we get asked it all the time, so it's kind of like beating a dead horse. You're like, oh my god, if one more person asks me that, I'm, I'm going to go insane. <laughs> so, um, number one thing to know. Sign names, they're super cool, it's awesome, and it's super cool to see all the different types of name signs, and it's totally valid to want one. But number two, be respectful. Deaf and hard of hearing people are the only ones who can make it, so don't make one for yourself, and don't go around asking them over and over, because it's, it's a bit annoying. Uh, and number three is just 
you know, knowing that it is a really big part of deaf culture. And uh, if you do ever get, get one, you should be really happy and honored that you are given one. And it's a cause for a celebration. Heck yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's kind of like the basics of name signs. I'm sorry I went by kind of fast. Uh, but like I said, I, I already covered it in a previous lesson. I think last lesson I did. Um, so I did kind of go over it. But uh, if you want to learn more, actually right over there is a board and it goes all it just talks all about name signs the other one talks about labels and a lot of deaf culture stuff um so if you're really interested and you want to learn some more uh you could read those or discuss with another person after class um but yeah i think that's the gist of it uh let's see any other questions hi title what, what's up no you can't ask me something no <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, after class? Sure, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> Whoop, there goes my drift. Ooh, okay. Let's see, any other questions at all? It doesn't have to be about what I just taught. It could be about anything. What's up? Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh god. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> uh, they had a very good question. They said, can deaf people drive? Wow. I don't know. Let me think. Hmm. Oh, I remember! Yes! Deaf people can drive! And you know what? Probably better than most hearing people can! <laughs> At least from my experience. I got in one car crash, and guess who was driving? A hearing person. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yes, deaf people can drive, and they can drive well, uh, some common questions is, what about an ambulance or a police car? How do they know it's there? Well, ever wonder why they have those lights on the top of the car that flash? Well, that's one of the reasons why. It's so that deaf drivers can see in their mirrors and uh, know to pull over. Uh, deaf drivers are known to very vigilantly check their mirrors almost constantly because they don't have the liberty of hearing cars honking or coming up behind them or police officers. So uh, deaf drivers are just constantly shifting between their mirrors and their windows and are very vigilant. So yes, deaf people can drive and a lot of deaf people do drive. Um, it's totally valid for them not to drive also, but that's usually just a choice. Or if there's other medical problems, that they can't drive for whatever reason. But yes, deaf people totally have the capability to drive. And it just baffles me that some people still think, oh, no, no, like, you can't drive. Or like, even me, like, being a hard-of-hearing person with hearing aids, they were told me, they're like, oh, wait, can you even drive? And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, what? What? I'm not blind. <laughs> I, 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 just, I just have a bit of hearing problems. Like, I'm fine. Yeah, I can drive. <laughs> so, so yes, yeah, deaf people can drive. That's a wonderful question. I'm going to turn on my fan because it's really hot. Okay, now I am very hot, but with wind blowing on me. Okay, uh, is there any other questions? <laughs> or should we move on to some words? We can... Hi, what's up? Oh, nicknames? Are you saying like sign names are like nicknames? Are you are you asking if they are? I'm wanting to ask like if someone gave someone a new sign name, would that be considered a nickname or their new actual name if they wanted to take it? Oh, like would it replace the old one? Okay. Um. So yes. Uh. The okay. 
Okay, so uh, let's use an example. Um, my friend, a long time ago, I haven't talked to her in a while, um, but she was given a name sign of like an H right here on the cheek. And um, when we were talking, I said like, oh, you know, I, I want to give you a new sign name. And she's like, oh, what is it? And I wanted to give her a name sign of like, like loud talking, basically, <laughs> or like yapper mouth, <laughs> because she talks a lot and she talks really loud. And I thought it was funny and cute. Like, I was like, oh, like, it's cute. Like, you talk a lot. Like, I want to give you the name sign. And she's like, no, <laughs> she told me she's like, I don't I don't want that name sign. Uh, so number one, you are allowed to say no. If you were given a name sign and somebody gives it to you and I don't know, it's something that you don't like, you can be like, oh, no, thank you. You know, it, it's fine. Uh, but let's say she did accept it. That would replace the uh, old sign name because you can't have more than one sign name. I think the only exception would be if you got one in VR. And it was something like, if your name in VR is like, Candy Crush Killer, and so you were given a name sign with like, Candy Killer, like, and then you go to your in real life community, and then they're like, oh, you have a name sign? You're like, yeah, it's Candy Crush Killer. They'd probably look at you like, your name sign is what? And so you might have a name sign in VR, and then in real life, you have a different one. Um, I'd say that would be, yeah, that's fine because it's, it's VR versus real life. But in any other case, I'm going to say, no, it's going to be a matter of replacing the old one because you, you have one name sign and that kind of is your name sign as like a person. Yeah. It's not like a collect them all card game. <laughs> How many name signs can you get? <laughs> um, <laughs> but, but yeah, uh, I hope that answers your question. <laughs> Any other questions, or would you guys want to do some some words and stuff, some some culture stuff, some uh, some yoga? Hi, Taito. What's up? Mhm. Mm <laughs> about about the boards. Oh. So in the boards, and... there's the finger spelling section where yeah. this exists for space. Oh! And yeah. So you with mean new the students, just space. oh, yeah, talking about that. Okay. Ah, yeah. uh, sure. Okay, I'm gonna stand up for this. Ugh. There you go. Um, so what they were saying is uh, the sign space, sorry, I haven't seen that sign in a long time, uh, is basically like, imagine like a, a box that dictates where signs should be done. So I'm telling you right now, the box for 99% of signs is like from here, draw a little box straight up to your head. Uh, and that's about where all signs are going to be, from, like, your hips up to your head. That's where most things are going to be signed. But there's a few signs that are not in that area. So, like, dog, there's a, there's a variation where you hit your hip. So that's technically not in the sign space, right? But it's still, like, you know, it's not crazy. You're not, like, going down to the floor to sign floor, right? Floor is, is up here. Uh, so... There, there's a few exceptions, uh, but for the most part, you're going to be signing, like, from your hip bones up. Um, and when, so, so think of it, again, like, think of, like, an imaginary box. But when you finger spell, the box changes. So instead of being all the way over here, it's going to go right here. From about your middle of your chest to your right, your dominant side shoulder. And now it's, like this big of a box. It's a much smaller box. Uh, so that means when you finger spell, you're going to be starting perpendicular to your... I'll show you from the angle here. You're going to start perpendicular to your actual shoulder. And when you're finger spelling, you're not going to be like A, B, a C, and then a D, and then I think there's an E, and an F. You're not going to be doing that. <laughs> you're going to be standing perfectly still, you're going to be looking at the person in front of you, and you're going to go like this. You're not going to be moving or drifting your fingers the more you go. Because I see, I see people doing like E, F, G, 
Oh, they have to, like, chase after their hand. You don't have to do that. You're going to stay in the box. The only time you're going to drift your hand is if it's a double letter. So, like, O, 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 or if you're shifting words, you're, like, shifting. But you're still pretty much going to stay in that little imaginary box. Um, and, and that's a good thing to know because it's going to help you out. If you find yourself just, like, kind of struggling to stay or know where to stay, just imagine that little box. Like, like it's kind of like you're holding, like, a boom box. You know, like, back in the, what was that, 80s, 70s? People had boom box, and they're, like, going like this. Imagine you have a boom box. Oh, I know you do, Shaw, but you're weird, okay? <laughs> uh, uh, so, yeah, you have a big boom box right here, and you're going to be staying in that general area. Um... As for other stuff about fingerspelling, you're never going to shift hands. So you're not going to be A and then B and then C and then D. If you're right with your right hand, you're going to be fingerspelling with your right hand and you're always going to be on your right hand. And same if you write with your left hand, you're going to be fingerspelling with your left hand. Um, and that also goes for most signs. So if, if I'm signing fast, I'm always, always, always going to have my left hand in front of my right hand because I'm right-handed. And same with like anything else like work my right hands on top of my left or school or whatever you're not going to be shifting every time you sign it what's up happy uh what if i can you hear me yes i can hear you okay what if i write with my right hand but i find it easier to finger spell with my left hand that's fine, as long as you stick with it. So it's it's usually people who write with their right are more comfortable with their right. But if you're more comfortable signing or finger spelling with your left, all that matters is that you stick with it. Uh, and that you're not doing like, ooh, look at me finger spell. Ooh. <laughs> because that's just, that's just very confusing uh, and you're not going to be understood. But yeah, that's fine if you use it. I'm going to check the time real quick. Hold on. What the heck? Okay, uh, I'm gonna take like two, maybe three more questions, and then we can go take a, a picture. What's up, Shaw? Do you have a question? Clarification? Clarify. Well, well, yeah, I, I just meant imagine a box. It's a real thing, but I meant like... Oh, yeah, I thought you are like... I'm sorry. I meant not the concept of a sign space, but the sign, the actual sign itself, space, or at least that version of... When do we use oh. this? Like pressing the space bar. Because if I... If oh. I if Give you an example well, of why it's confusing. Have, you should have signed. Okay. <laughs> I tried. I, 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 no, 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 I signed no, 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 it. No, 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 no. Let me tell you. There are four signs for space. Wait, five signs for space. There are five signs for space, and you used the one that made me think of like sign space. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> because I said, I said, I said in the finger the spelling board. board. That's yes. that's the one they use for specifically like oh, space, God. as in he moving that. between he letters. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. He did say the alphabet <laughs> section of the board. He did say. Uh, that. Yeah, we can, uh, uh, section. We can line people up to throw under the bus later, but right now. Uh, oh my God! What I mean is. So what I, I mean something? is. So I see uh, I students I like I didn't, I didn't everywhere, know. just like yes. using this for finger spell spelling and space. They will, then they oh will spell, God! They will, they will actually use space oh between the words, and it's very awkward. Oh my God! No! And I don't feel no. like I don't feel right telling them no because it's up there. I, I have see, not seen this. Oh my God! Okay. <sighs> I'm literally face palming right now. Oh my god. Okay, let me go through the different signs for space and tell you the ones that you should be using. Okay, number one, space. What does this mean? This means like, air, like, like a, like area, like a physical space. Like you should go sit in that space. Go sit in that space over there. Or I was in that space before. This is not outer space, and God, this is not space as in typing on a keyboard. I've, wow, <laughs> I'm sorry, the reason why I didn't understand the question is because that, that was just so, like, 
Stellar it's because it was that... double thumbs, right? Because I was using this. Yeah, that too. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so just this remembered. Is, this is space. Like there is a space that you can sit in. There is a space over there. Next. Space. Space. This is. I like. Voice is lagging. Okay, is it back? Testing. 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 Uh, oh no, Jenny. Testing. Jenny testing. 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 Up. Testing. Jenny.exe has stopped testing, working and needs to testing, be restarted. Testing, 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 four, 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 testing, four. testing, 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 testing. It's good now? Yeah, yeah you're good. Okay, I, yes. I felt like Patrick. Wait, what, what, does he, didn't he say testing? Does he say that? Yeah, he does! When he's on, he's on the other thing, and Spongebob's walking away, and Spongebob's not responding, he's like, testing, 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 and he's like, screaming as loud as he can. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I get sidetracked easily, can you tell? Ah, uh, next one! Space. Space. This is like outer space. Outer space. Wow. Space. It's up there, right? This is also like above, but you're gonna kind of do like fancier. Space. Wow. Right? Okay, third. Uh, sorry. Okay. Hold on. Tracking go burr. Third, space. Space. This is what you're going to use most of the time when you're finger spelling. Okay? I was discussing this with someone before class, right? You're gonna sign cookie space monster whatever, right? You're gonna say fingerspell space fingerspell. Another is that for variation. Someone how to how to, hmm? how to how to how to type something? Also, also, yes. Because this is this is in the context of like grammatical space. So also, if like we're teaching English sentences, sentences, yes, if we're teaching ancient sentences, uh, we're going to be using this because th this is literally like grammatically. This is only going to be used, I think. No, not okay. God, <laughs> I'm sorry. Sign could be complicated. Okay, so the only other context, most likely, that you're going to be seeing this is I need people. Uh, uh, okay. Perfect. There's crossfader next. Then there's valley. Then there's a space. And then there's happy little bean, right? So we're going to be showing there's this person, there's this person, then there's this person. And you could also be using it as there's a gap between the people. So this can be like space between people. Uh, but 99% of the time, it's going to be used in space, as in like finger spelling. Um, so are you going to see... Oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm still like dumbfounded that somebody used that as space. Um, okay. Um, f number four is when you're finger spelling, if, okay, let's say I'm doing A, that's finished, then I'm going space. I'm finger spelling again, right? So it could be, it's an arch. See how I'm going up, kind of making a rainbow shape. You're not drifting, because again, this means double letters. Ooh, and O, O. Déjà that's vous. the difference. <laughs> Deja vu. I've just been in this place before. Okay, right. So that's the difference. And the very last one is literally shifting your body. So you could also use this if you're finger spelling. So if I'm finger spelling somebody's first name, Jenny. Whoop! There goes my tracking. Jenny Shift Jennerson. Whatever. Right. So we're gonna be shifting our body, and this can technically mean space. However, please do not use this if you are finger spelling. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. And don't use this if you're finger spelling. That's outer space, and this is like a space, a, a plane of existence. Okay? So I want everyone to show me right now the correct way to finger spell two separate words. I want everyone to finger spell red dog. Finger spell red dog. Right? Red. Space. Dog. Good. Your turn. Red. Uh huh. I, I, Red. I knew, I knew how to. And space. Dog. Yay! You did it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> and uh, slow, I understand. Slow, slow down, please. It is complicated, but please just know right. language is complicated, so it's gonna get complicated. Right. But it's fine. But yes, I'm telling you. Right Right now, I'm telling the world, I will go contact Mr. Dummy uh, to have that removed. <laughs> because uh, it should be replaced with this, not this. I, I'm sure uh, the teacher, whoever signed it, just didn't know that it was in the context of fingerspelling. Uh, but yes, please do not say uh, this. 
for finger spelling. <laughs> okay, now that we have that clearly understood, oh, is there any other questions? <laughs> Dog. Space. Uh, you got a rock paper scissors it out because you guys, you guys, I saw you guys both at the same time. This is gonna, this is gonna take a long time for me to learn all this. <laughs> yep, rock paper scissors. Yeah. Okay, ready? Spelling. Rock. Paper, scissors, shoot! Ah, Lone Badger wins! Haha! -ha. All right, you get to go after. <laughs> Can we use space like P A U? Pause. Uh, red. Yes. Yes, also. That kind of goes in pair with shifting your body. So it's like, if you're not going to shift, you could also just say, like, red, dog, is whatever. Um, but the, the most clear way to do it is this, in my opinion. That's the most clear. Um, this can sometimes be confused as, like, cause sometimes, like, if it's a hard word, sometimes I'll do this. Like, I'll be like, um, what's a, what's a hard word to spell? Uh, M-I-S-S. Mississippi is my voice broken again? No, you're a liar. <laughs> it's it's fine. It's all right. <laughs> oh yeah yeah yeah. He's saying it, he it could be confused for like lag, uh, like oh are they lagging? Um, but another thing is it's like if I'm finger spelling something hard, sometimes I'll pause and I'll be like, oh what's the next letter? Oh it's P. Uh, e. Like, I, I kind of have to pause. So it could be confused um, in that context. But yeah, it's fine. It could work. Uh, but I'm telling you, like, most clear, especially in VR chat, I would recommend using that. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. My back is itchy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I can take... <laughs> this index is so yeah. cool. Uh, you're going to be the last question, then we could go take a picture after. Okay. Um, this is going back to the consistency on the finger spelling thing. Um, there are a handful of signs, like I am right hand dominant, but I find myself accidentally doing like left hand dominance uh, with specific signs. And so I was wondering, like, is that something that should be like focused on correcting or if it's just like those signs consistently um, are done left handed, is that okay? Yeah. Um, so. Uh, my rule of thumb is, like, it's fine as long as you're not shifting every single time. So if I'm juggling my signs like this, that's confusing. But if I'm, like, I go to work and school and I draw and I do art for a living. Okay, like, I did all of these like this, but let's say for, for whatever reason, art is just more comfortable for me to do with my left. That's fine. I'm going to understand that. But if I'm, like, I go to work and school and I draw, and I do art, you're going to be like, hold up. <laughs> you're, you're, you're like, you're juggling your signs, right? So it's fine as long as you're not going every other sign. But I'd say try to use one hand as much as you can, but you're not going to be in trouble if you shift every so often. Like, um, I can't remember. Oh, it's sometimes. I like doing sometimes with my left. I should do it with my right. It's just way more comfortable for me to do it with my left. I don't know why. But I have done it my whole life like this since I was little, and, and I'm never going to stop. <laughs> so, you know, uh, as long as it's understood, I'm going to keep doing it. But yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Does that answer your question? All right, cool. And now, thank you guys so much for coming. We can go and take a picture. Yay! <laughs>